Today, I was sent old school vintage packs from a viewer. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have a pretty awesome opening and I have a little note that we're gonna start it off with. Hi Ruxin, please give my boy Jared aka Babushka9000 a shout out. He got me back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh by showing me your videos. Go Warriors. That's pretty awesome that he got you back into your videos. Go Warriors. If you're talking about the Golden State Warriors, that's not awesome. So there's a little bit of give and take there. But let me tell you what really is awesome after the giveaway. First, he sent one pack to be given away to you guys. I'm also going to throw in an Invader of Darkness and a Mirror Force, so we've got a few things in the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite pack you see here. There's a ton of old school stuff. It's going to be pretty fun. All right, let's just go through what he sent. Let's just show you guys the epicness. So there's some pretty awesome packs here. We have a Dark Revelation Volume 1. Pretty nice. We've got another one of those. We've got Ancient Sanctuary. We've got another Ancient Sanctuary. We've got the Lost Millennium. A couple of those. A Pharaoh Servant. Original print Konami logo. We've got the First Edition Legacy of Darkness, which is awesome. Dark Beginning 1. A couple of Magicians for us. And that's not all. I mean, that's already pretty amazing. That's looking really cool. By the way, these are not mine. He sent these just to be open for a video. If you guys ever want to do that with some old school stuff, you can always message me on Instagram, email, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. Make sure you follow me at Ruxin34 on on those and just send me a message if you guys want something to be open for a video especially if it's like old school stuff he also sent an original metal raiders blister this is going to be painful to open but i've done it many times so we'll, we'll get over it then we have another metal raiders blister that one's a little bit less nice but still really amazing we have a pharaonic guardian first edition which we've opened a couple of these recently had really good luck we have a shadow of infinity first edition that's really really cool maybe we can pull a sacred beast for the first time ever i don't know and then one more pharaonic guardian so a pretty awesome selection of packs here like a lot of different old school gx stuff like that so let's hop right into it i'm really excited to see what we're gonna pull for him so first off i kind of want to go with the Ferrana guardian blister because we've opened a few of these so let's start off with the stuff you guys have seen a little bit already and save like the you know like the magician's forces and stuff like that for the end also dark beginning we don't see a lot so that'll be kind of fun to open up first edition blister let's go okay Ferrana guardian let's see what we can pull by the way his name was uh jackson d i didn't i forgot to say that i thought it would be in the note and it wasn't uh so jackson shout out to him for Hooking us up with an amazing opening. I think it's four from the back. Let's not ruin it. We have a Cat of Ill Omen. Really, really cool card. We have a Reasoning. We have a Master Key on Chi. Very nice. Soul Eater. A Living Wonder of Mystery. Ooh, okay, Wonder, Mystery. Bottomless Shifting Sand. We've got a Man with the Widget. We've got a Kabazal. It's very nice. Card Shuffle. Okay. It's kind of weird that that's a card, but okay. Oh, and a Book of Life. Okay, this is one I was actually looking up. I was making a goat format zombie deck. This is actually a really good card in that. Uh, this card looks like it might be a little warped. If you guys can see that, yeah, it's a little bit warped. This does happen on some old school like blisters and stuff like that sometimes just because they've been sitting in there for so long. But still, first edition Book of Life. That's actually a really sick card, like a really, really nice pull, especially for that zombie deck. All right, next, what do we want to do? Like maybe a Lost Millennium. I'm assuming this is a retail pack. If this is a hobby pack, it's insane, but... Could be a retail pack, could be a hobby pack. I don't know. Let's just try and pull the gear golem. Something amazing like that. Let's see what we can pull for Jackson. Two, three. I think it's four, but we're going to do three on GX. Not really sure. We've got the Guardian statue. Really cool. The Kamenate Blow. The Also the Earth Charmer. Battery Charger. Charge them batteries. We've got the Elemental Hero Spark Man. Minefield Eruption. Very nice. We are recording, in fact, the Elemental Hero Claim Man. Let's not forget. Brain Control. We got a Super Rare and a Battery Man Double A. That's a Super Rare Brain Control, and that's a really good one, actually. Okay, Brain Control. This is looking good, guys. Okay, two foils already. Are we two for two? All right, I don't even know what we should do next. Like, everything is so good. Like, there's not really, like, I guess Ancient Sanctuary, you know, that's probably not that exciting. I mean, compared to the other stuff, it's like the worst you can find is Ancient Sanctuary. You're doing pretty good. So, this is pretty nice. Let's see if we can do an epic uh, opening here. and Do an epic opening. Can we get a secret rare? <laughs> we got a Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. I didn't even realize this card was in here. Like, I did know it, but also I kind of forgot that it was that old. Arcane Archer of the Forest. Dust Barrier. We've got the Goblin King. All right. Very nice. Pretty cool looking. We've got a Mystic Walk. Emissary of the Oasis. A Micro Ray. And can we go three for three here? Let's see. 
Theban Nightmare. All right, we're not going to go three for three, but that's okay. Theban Nightmare is another card that I really, really remember. Like, I must have had a few of these or something, but I remember this artwork like it was yesterday almost. Okay, I think now we do maybe a Dark Revelation. I actually need a Ryu Koki for my zombie deck because that's actually a weirdly hard card to find, even though it's mostly common. And that's probably why it's so hard to find because, like, I don't really hang on to my commons that much, you know, and if I do, they're just in boxes like compared to foils and old school stuff. So I was having trouble finding them. I need three, I only have two. So if he pulls a common here, I'm probably gonna be like, hey, you wanna, you wanna sell me this common real quick? All right, we got a tip 12 out of 30. Spirit Reaper, that's a rare. I think that means we don't get a foil, but not really sure. We get the Guardian Chaos, very nice. Dark Cat with White Tail, very interesting because the tail is, I mean, he's not really, he's kind of dark and his tail's kind of dark, I don't know. Okay, Cyber Raider, weird. We got a Winged Sage Falco, that's pretty cool. Nightmare Horse, this is originally from Ferrati Guardian. Dark Scorpion combination, all right. Arsenal a Rubber, very cool. Pineapple Blast, that's a Pharaoh Servant card, I think. Dark Snake Syndrome, and... Rod of Silence Case, wait, there's another one. And then a Cestus of Dogla, all right. So it looks like the rare at the front does mean you don't get anything. That's such a weird placement on that pack. I, I can never figure out where the rare is gonna be. All right, next up, let's do the Shadow Infinity First Edition pack. I hope we can pull a sacred beast that would be insanity it's weird like shadow infinity blisters just kind of don't look that good like to be honest like you know how they have the artwork and all the other ones like Lou, look at all this it's like full art and this is like it's like there's nothing they don't care about this blister at all it's very weird how they did that i really wish they kept up how the old blisters look like they the artwork and like the collectability of those is insanely high like they just look so good let's go let's see what we can pull one two three four we have a Malice Ascendant, Attack Reflector Unit, Cyber Dragons added again, Ancient Gear Cannon, Grass Phantom, Chain Thrasher, we got a Samsara, Gokipon, End of the World, and we've got a Princess Picaru. We were not looking for that one. Okay, we're still only like two for four though. We're doing pretty, or two for five. We're doing still doing pretty good. Let's do this Legacy of Darkness. It has this little like tab where it's been hung up. It's like a mini blister. You know how they stick that on there so it don't have to be in the blister? Very interesting. I, okay, we're gonna have to open it the opposite way because that's not gonna let that happen. Let's see if we can pull something cool out of Legacy of Darkness. There's a lot of good options here in this set. We've opened a lot of this on the channel. We've had some pretty good luck. Life absorbing machine, very creepy. Oh, wait, is that a machine? That looks like a crab. I don't, I don't know. That that's like Paris, like in Pokemon. You know where he's like, it's actually the mushroom that's the parasite. Greatest is option. We got the illusory gentleman, very nice. Legendary ocean, a classic card. Bad reaction to Samochi. A Robo lady. We got the Serpentine princess. A spirit Ryu, and we have a lesser fiend a fiend that is lesser okay he's a little lesser but he is also my champ so it's not too bad there i think it's time to go for one of the magician's force loose packs can we get dark paladin can we get breaker dark magician girl any of that crazy stuff and there's a freezing beast right off the bat we have one two three four let's see if we can pull something crazy i too very nice. Dark Cat with White Tail added again. There's the uh, MFC version. Exhausting Spell. The Giant Orc himself. Freezing Beast. People running about. Although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. Very nice. Secret Barrel, a burn card. Very nice. Magical Plant, Mandragola. And what shall we get? Ooh, a Z Metal Tank Super Rare. So we have another Super Rare. Pulled quite a few Super Rares in this video. Card appears to be in pretty nice condition. So we have a third Super Rare. That is pretty sick. Z Metal Tank. All right, time to go for the Ferrani Guardian First Edition Blister. We're going to save those MRD for the end. Uh, or at least, you know, more toward the end. Because MRD, it's my favorite set. It's the most classic, I think. Out of Maybe maybe even more than LOB. It's pretty amazing. First Edition Ferrani Guardian. Let's pull a Lava Golem. Let's pull something crazy. Let's pull a, uh, a Don Zaluk. Somebody bought one of my blisters off uh, Ruxa34.com, pulled a Don Zaluk Ultra Rare. I was like, dang, I'm jealous. That is my favorite card from this set. Charm of Shopti. We got the Pyro Clock of Destiny, except maybe Ring of Destruction, which is not in a blister, so you can't pull it. Different Dimension Capsule, Swarm of Locusts, Dark Dust Spirit, A Man with the Widget, Kabazals. 
card shuffle and we have a nightmare wheel ultra rare let's go nightmare wheel ultra rare and wow that is pretty nice condition a little bit off centered but that is pretty amazing when i opened my first veronica guardian 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 booster box it was actually a nightmare wheel uh, box as well so that's the first ultra rare of the video pretty good pull so far for like old school packs okay i'm like actually amazed at how well we're doing let's go lost millennium let's do the second one of these we have pulled four foils already which like that's insanely good for old school packs so let's keep going let's keep it up mine gold when we got the grave lure also the earth charmer and impenetrable formation pikaru second sight moi interceptor cannons gift of the martyr hita the fire charmer and mid shield garna He's mid. Okay, Ancient Sanctuary time. Then we're going to go into one of those Metal Raiders. This is actually first edition, so this is still really cool. Ancient Sanctuary first edition. Old school, 11th set ever made. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be something epic? Will it be a secret rare? We have Blessings of the Nile. Legendary, legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Legend Jiu-Jitsu Master. The Beckoning Light. That's a common in here. Cool. The KA2 Death Scissors. The Earthquake. Piranha Army. Human Wave Tactics, and what's the next one? Solar Flare Dragon, and we have a Theban Nightmare. Both packs at Theban Nightmare. Maybe that's why I remember it so well. It was in every single Ancient Sanctuary pack. Metal Raiders Original Print Time, 2002 Unlimited. Let's go. Pequeno Maw Time. Oh, that one opened perfectly. That's nice. And just look at this blister. Oh my goodness. B skull full artwork. Literally insane. They absolutely crushed the original blisters. They are so good. <sighs> Metal Raiders. Good job, Konami. Big proud. Let's see what we can pull here. Will it be something insane? Metal Raiders unlimited print, but original unlimited print. We have a dragon a piper. He's piping. We got the germ infection. Ancient Lizard Warrior. Seven colored fish. Yep, that's right. Including the lips. Electric Lizard. Dome of the Angel of Silence. Rainbow Flower. Ryukishin Powered. All right, what's up, man? And is it the next one? It's a Grande Moth. We've got the Grande. It's not a foil, but the Grande Moth has been summoned. Very, very nice Metal Raider stuff there. Five packs to go. I think it's time we go with Pharaoh's Servant Original Konami Logo Print. Can we get... Legenzo. Let's go. Can we pull it? Jinzo time. One, two, three, four. I believe we can do this. We have a flame champion. Respect play. Shaking them hands. We got the Guruchin Kuwagata. Souls of the Forgotten. Insect imitation. Attack and receive. Gift of the Mystical Elf. World suppression. And we have a appropriate. All right. They look like they got some some cash money going on there, but okay, maybe not cash technically, but money. Okay, Dark Revelation time. Please pull a Rai Koki. I want one. I want a Rai Koki. It's not even my pack. I just want it so I can ask to buy it. Okay, I think the next one would be if it's a monster. So we're about to be spoiled right away potentially. Okay, Great Fever's Bas Vassal. It is not it. Dark Bishop Archfiend. Magical Plant Mandragola. Very nice. We got the Charm of Shabti. Death's Feral Limb. Cool. Helping Robo for combat. Dramatic rescue. Whoa, is that our that's our rare, I guess. Okay. Battle scarred. Really nice. Got the disarmament. Is that the end? Dark core, dark room of nightmare, and megaton magical cannon. That is it. Okay. Those are such weird packs. Just really confusing. All right, we now have these left. Magician's Force, Dark Beginning, and one metal raise. Let's do Dark Beginning one. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Can we get something really epic? DB1. I really wish they had added secrets to this set. It would have made it a lot better, but still pretty cool set. We have tip card 17 out of 50. Oh, there's a guy right at the beginning. Wait, does that mean, is that it? Four Star Ladybug of Doom, Reaper of the Cards. Does it work the same way? Send you. Invader of the Throne. We have a Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. Mirror Wall. Fake Trap. I thought this was in the middle. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Shallow Grave. Messenger of Peace. And a Insect Barrier. Wow. Those are not very dramatic when you get a monster rare. <laughs> They're not at all. Okay. MFC. Two packs to go. So overall, pretty decent. We slowed down definitely from the beginning. The beginning, we started off super hot, but still pretty decent. Kaiser Coliseum there. That's a good card. Let's see if we can get something good. We have My Body as a Shield. Miracle Restoring. Amazon as Paladin. Zombie Tiger. Once again, thanks to Jackson for sending these. Pretty amazing. Kaiser Coliseum. Amazon is Blow Piper. We have the Gather Your Mind. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells, and now known as, what is it? The uh, 
It's public of organization or something like that. And then we have the armored EXE file. There we go. Very nice. All right. Final pack for Jackson D. Can we pull him something crazy in the final pack? This one's actually slightly open. So, all right. Maybe that's why they're open so well. They're a little bit uh, unsealed, which happens with blisters sometimes. Metal Raiders original unlimited print. What in the world? This one's all like dusty, probably because it had a little hole in there. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. We have one, two, three, four. Whoa, there is a... Oh, there's a ding on this card. And... Oh, no. Wait a second. Okay, time out. Let's see what this is first. Yadakaru, we got the... Uh, this is resealed? There's a left arm reprint? Yep, this is definitely resealed. Uh, Buster Blader... Baby Dragon, Chaos Imp... Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> it's a reseal for the giveaway? What the heck, man? <laughs> I noticed that damage on the back, and I was like, this doesn't look good. Okay, so that was weird. We saved the, the fake reseal for the end? What in the world? So I guess all of these are in the giveaway? What was the card I saw in the back that was like kind of damaged? I guess it was this one. Okay, so these are now in the giveaway. We have five. One is a Chaos Ember Dragon. Okay, that, that was surprising. All right, all right, cool. That was weird, but awesome. Actually, very, very surprising. I was not expecting it, so that, that was cool. So you guys can win this. Make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Once again, thanks to Jax and D for sending these to be opened. I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on right now. So if you enjoyed the video, just subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomefo Show, and then a tie show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.